Welcome aboard, passengers. Mega Sim here, and happy roadmap day. Oh yes, it's Tuesday, it's roadmap day, so we're looking forward to seeing that in the next couple of hours. We are in Brighton today on the East Coastway on the Class 377, we haven't done this in a while, and we are doing the shuttle service from Brighton to Lewis and back again. I wanted to uh, go on it. So we do have the pouring rain. You'll find out later in the video what we do on that. I'm not going to tell you at the beginning. But yeah, let's set this train up. Make sure that the tail lights are on. Make sure everything's set up. Make sure the safety um, systems are set. Vigilance, DSD, and AWS. There it goes, kicking in. Let's walk back to the uh, seat and reset it. We are going to have our wipers on because it is raining. But yeah, it's... Uh, I do like the East Coastway. I know that with the 465, so we're having a bit of a break from the 465, but I do think that the Southeastern High Speed is kind of edging further towards, you know, being one of my favorites. So at the moment, Great Western, East Coastway, Southeastern High Speed are my three favorite. It's just constantly moving around. I think at the moment it's between Great Western and Southeastern High Speed because I do love that 465. 465 and the Javelin, top notch, yep, great, love it. So, we're just going to uh, shut the doors, um, but as you can see, we do have a red signal, so we just wait. need to wait for that to go, and then we can uh, set sail, and uh, yeah, head towards Lewis. But yeah, it's just, it's just weird how, when you're on the southeastern high speed, you're on the class 465, you're seeing all the detail on that, and then you come back to this with the 377. I know it's trained in World 1, you know, 2020, but... Just the difference in the quality. There's so many... The stations and tracks seem very similar-ish. Um, but it's more for the um, the actual train itself. Just the reflection and the colours and that detail. That's kind of... It's just slightly less. But you can clearly see it. But yeah. Here we go. Let's go. And uh, yeah, sit back, relax. Enjoy the video. Thanks, guys. And it's very loud in here. Hello. Welcome. Welcome aboard to the Southern Service from Brighton to Lewis. It's chucking it down with rain. But that's all right because we're just doing the shuttle service today. You know, we've been doing the 465 and I just thought, ah, oh, I really want to go on the 377 in Brighton. Maybe I shouldn't have gone for the rain. Well, I've chosen it now, so we're stuck with it. There we go. So, yeah, we are stopping at all stations. London Road, Moorscombe, Farmer, and finally Lewis. And then we're going to sit around at Lewis for a little bit, and then we'll take the train back. What do you think? Hopefully you're going to enjoy this video as much as I am driving it. I hope. Right, London Road is just coming up here, which does mean that the brakes will be a little wet. So just got to keep an eye on that. Hey, if I've done this correctly and I've timed this correctly, happy roadmap day. So yeah, what are we going to find out in the roadmap today? Well, we'll find out, won't we? Man, this rain is loud. <laughs> I say it's loud, you know, it's loud for me because I'm listening to it in, through the headphones. Right then, so... gone green so that's good that is good for us here we go 
Oh, we will spinning because of the rain. Here we go. Going into a tunnel. Yeah, Moscum is our next stop. Yeah, not been on uh, 377 for a little while. So it's nice to be back on board. I know it's very similar to the 375, but we're not going into that. Yeah, nice four car, four car train. It's what we like to see. Oh, look, we got a three seven seven there. That's nice. Nice to see. Because we're so used to the really good brakes of the 465, these 377 brakes are so spongy. Look. Stop. 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 <laughs> there we go. See, so we're at Moorscombe. Just loading our passengers. There's the car stop. We've gone past it, but we did kind of do the yards thing. Uh, just to see if we can get maximum points. Differences between the 375 and the 377. The 3757 uh, has these cameras. Not that we can see anything on them, but you're able to look behind you with these cameras. need to be careful here we don't want to uh, go through the red light look denied wait for signal to change okay waiting for this light to go green hey and there we go we can now start heading towards uh, Falmer yeah, farmers are next stop. No, still a bit of wheel spin, but when the wheel spin happens, uh, you can see that the traction sand uh, comes on for us, just to give us a bit more uh, traction. <laughs> right, farmer. So what do you think is going to come out for the uh, roadmap? What's going to be on the next arrival? What are we going to get in the next two weeks? Don't cheat. Put it before 4pm. So you've got an hour to put almost an hour until the roadmap comes out. What do you think is going to be on the next roadmap? Is the next arrival? It'd be good to know. I want to hear your thoughts. Yeah, disgusting weather out here today. Look, disgusting. <laughs> right then, let's come into land. I mean, uh, let's come into Falmouth Station. No, I knew, I knew what I was saying. I, was, I did it on purpose. Right then, here we go. Falmar is the big bridge. Let's get over to the football stadium. So 
Hamilton over 377. Here we go. Let's open those doors. Right. There's the football stadium. The American Express Community Stadium. The Brighton and Hove Albion. So there are two Albion football teams in the Premier League, which was on um, The Wheel. <laughs> it was a game show. Yeah, it was like, what Albions are in the Premier League? And I was like, it's just one, West Bromwich Albion. Totally forgetting that Brighton and Hove Albion are in the Premier League as well at the moment this season. So, yeah. Something you learn every day. Something new. So, yeah, watch this wheel spin. Look. Traction sound comes in every time... Uh, the wheel spin comes on. So yeah, we're off to Louis. Off to Lose. Not to lose. Louis. Right, 4.3 miles to go. We do have a red light coming up. So hopefully we'll be able to uh, bypass that when we get to it. Probably because there's something in front of us. There it is. Yeah, there's one in front. Let's get some more speed going now that uh, we've got a pleasant speed to uh, prevent the uh, wheel spin a little bit. Do you know what we're going to do? I think once we get to Lewis, I'm going to stop the recording, choose a better weather, and then have a nice cloudy summer's day or something on the way back so we don't have this. <laughs> if that sounds okay with well, it's not your choice, it's my choice. That's what I've decided. Yeah, Lewis is the one where you do have to slow down quite a bit. Oh, just noticed we've got green lights again. That's probably because um, once he goes past here, he's going up there, I'm going in here. I might have to wait for this guy. No, he should be gone by the time I get there. Yeah, we'll choose a, a better weather on the way back. We'll say that the rain cleared up or something. What do you think? I think that sounds good to me. I should be in the seat, shouldn't I? In the driver's seat. Right. You start slowing down. Got to down, down, go down to 55. But then we will be going down a lot lower. I'll go down to 10 miles an hour in uh, just under a mile. We can start heading back once we get to Lewis. Okay. 
Just thought, have we not passed that other train yet? No, he's going so slowly. Why, we've got a red coming up. There we go, finally, he's got through, so we now have the permission to uh, go on the other line. See, there we go. Here it is. And here's the guy, here's the driver. Got to go down to 10 miles an hour if I'm going over these points. Come on, slow down. Then we come over. Don't know why you've not got umbrellas, guys. But okay. Sure. If that's what you want. That's what you get. There we go. Oh, I think that was uh, pretty eventful, that was, you know, with all the rain and the stuff that was going on. You can hear that, look. Oh, well, yeah. Guys, do you, oh, look at that. Do you see that? Yeah. Do not ever go into these. Ever, ever, ever in real life. Do not ever go in there. Thank you. Right, okay, let's uh, stop the video. I will get one set up, you know, better weather, and we'll do the return journey from Lewis to Brighton. See you in a sec, guys. And we're back. Let's uh, go to this. Let's uh, open those doors. So what we've done is we've chosen Summer Cloudy. Uh, so it's a bit windy. It's not... Uh, it's not uh, the same as before where, um, you know, we had the uh, horrible rain. So yeah, that looks alright. That looks good to me. So yeah, we're going to uh, head back um, in that way instead, okay? So hopefully that's all right with, well, I say it's all right. It's a bit too late because I'm choosing what the route is. And uh, yeah, I decided that it was too loud, the rain. So we're going for summer. Ah, the whistle! <laughs> Have we got the bell? Signal? Cool. Right. What we're going to do is we're going to uh, shut our doors. Let's watch it leave. So yeah, I think this is a lot nicer. It's a lot quieter in the cab um, with the rain. Yeah, let me know what you think. It'd be nice if we were able to choose dynamic weather. That's possibly coming soon.
Okay, farmer. We need to get two now. And that's the point. There's the back of the train. It's good to go to the back every now and again. Just check we, we're looking all right. So, Farmer, Moolscombe, London Road, and finally Brighton. Our return journey back to Brighton. Platform number eight. Um, I'm not sure if this is actually the same train, but let's just ignore that for now because, you know, just wanted a slightly different experience on the way back. But we can go up to 70 in a minute anyway. It's actually a nice day. It's turned out to be, you know, the rain's gone. It's a bit cloudy, but the sun's trying to creep through. <laughs> right, let's uh, put it up full welly. Um, because we've got our 70. 3, 2, 1. There we go. We've still got three miles to get to Falmer. I hope we find out something, you know, for this roadmap today. I don't know, maybe um, Diesel Legends of the uh, Great Western might be uh, coming out. You never know. Interesting. I didn't press anything for the uh, for that vigilance. Nice three seven seven there. Right, coming up to Falmer, needed to go down to 60 miles an hour at least, uh, maximum. Coming up to the Amex Stadium. Have you been to the Amex Stadium before? Has it been for football or has it been for something else? Be good to know. Jot it down in the comments. Comments is a good place to be, isn't it? Yeah, I should have slowed down earlier.
Oh, that bush is coming through the fence. Ah! <laughs> Oh yeah, got to go and see the stadium, don't we? We did it on the way, let's do it on the way back. There we go, there is the American Express Community Stadium for Brighton, Hove and, Al uh, Brighton and, and Hove Albion. Did I still actually see what was in there? Have they put the grass in there? Not sure. Here we go. Let's do a drone shot. Let's go. Oh, yeah. We've been licensed by Southern and Network Rail to be able to do this. Oh, and another passing train. Nice. Yeah, the next station's there. So it's not far to get to it. Okay, Morscombe. Next stop, London Road. There we go. Okay, now approaching Moolscombe. Yeah, I do like the 377. I think my favourite trains, 377, 375, 465. Javelin's a good one. Yeah, I like, well, I like a load of these trains. We're not going to stop. Nope, didn't stop. Not good at all. Not good. Look. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Go to London Road. It's not far to London Road, is it? No, it literally is just there. Ah, oh, we should be all right. We should be all right. Fifty five mile hour limit now. Got some good things coming to this channel very soon. Keep an eye out over the next few weeks. Or less. Or more. I don't know yet. See how we get on. But yeah, some good stuff coming. Hopefully you're gonna enjoy it. There's an eight car.
And we're not going to stop again. No, I think we'll be all right. Only just. Yeah, these brakes on the 377 have changed, but I'm finding it a little bit more difficult to uh, stop. But then that's just because we've just had the 465 for quite a while. Um, and you know, the 465 is decent. The brakes are. Whoa! Did you see that? Whoa! He just landed. Wow. I'm going to go up to them and ask them. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Superman. Hello? I see you were flying. No? You're going to ignore me? Oh, okay. If that's what you want to do, then that's what you want to do. Right. Let's go. Did you see the Superman and Supergirl there? I did. I certainly did. Oh yes, so now we go over the bridge. Here we go. Need to slow down. We are coming into platform 8. Thank you, Signals, for letting us know what platform we're going on. Uh, no, we're going to platform number 8. Thank you. As easy as that. Easy as pie. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be shortly arriving at Brighton Station. Please make sure you have all your loose belongings with you before you exit the train. Ticket barriers are in operation at Brighton Station. Have a pleasant day and thank you for joining us and travelling with us on Southern Railways. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. <laughs> right, okay, so coming into Brighton. Gorgeous station. Oh, there's a... Seagull! Five hundred. That's what we like to see. No. Nope. Keep forgetting. Got to do it like that. Right then. I think that does it for us on today's episode. So yeah, thank you very, very much for joining us on this trip today. that up no oh, there we go um but yeah we got a gold which is good which is good return to free roam as we now uh switch this off there we go but yeah thank you very much guys we will see you on the next video oh yeah what I should be saying is thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe. Social media links are in the description below. And we will see you on the next video. This is Mega Sim. Out of here. See you later, guys. Oh, sorry, madam. See you later, guys. Bye-bye. Oh, these, these 
passenger information screens are going to look gorgeous soon. Anyway, see you soon.